Hello, my name is Professor John Benjamin and this is Motion Graphics. And today we'll go over how to create a, an appealing character in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so we're gonna open up Illustrator. And like I said, you typically wanna create a um, canvas or an artboard that's similar to what your final um, animation is going to be, the, the similar aspect ratio and pixel dimensions. And so I'm just gonna go here and select web and I typically work in 1920 by 1080, um, but you can also, um, you know, pick a different one like uh, 1280 by 720 is a good one if you're gonna work a little smaller. All right, but we're gonna do web large. All right, and I'm gonna create a really simple character because primarily what I wanna address is how Illustrator um, layers translate into After Effects. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm just gonna to go to the Ellipse tool and I'm going to go ahead and just drag out a nice circle here. So this is going to be a real circular fellow here. I'm going to call it, this is this is Norb, like a gray uh, with no stroke. And eventually, you're going to create your own character as as you'd like to. Um, but it's just a circle for his head. And if you're not familiar with Illustrator, uh, you can uh, copy and paste a circle or you can um, alt-drag out and duplicate a circle. So that's what I did there. And so Norbs is gonna have some pretty basic eyes. There. So I just have some pretty basic eyes with some circles here, and I'm going to go ahead and make these just a little bit darker there, make it that he's had a little bit lighter. All right. And there's Norm's eyes, and then I'm going to give him a little mouth. And here I'm just going to give it a stroke. And if you're unfamiliar with Illustrator, and over here in the Properties palette, you can click on the Stroke here and change it to a rounded capped stroke. So I'm going to give Norb a pretty simple body as well. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool and I'm going to create a little neck here for him and use your eyedropper tool. To, so if you're not familiar with Illustrator, whenever you click, click on a box, you can, you can make the corners curved uh, by clicking on these little anchors. All right, and then I'm going to make another lower torso here and I'm just going to make it a little bit more narrow like that. And then I'm going to give him uh, some hips. I'll bring that down a little bit. And his hips, I think, are going to be a little bit different. All right, and I'm going to put those up here. Okay, so there is Norm's upper and lower torso, and then he has a pelvis. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make some arms and legs. I'm going to make these really simple. I'm just going to go ahead and make an arm. And that's about the length of the humerus. So one of the things you want to think about with your character and part of being a peel is that there is a, he's, they're anatomically proportioned. And so if you have a really tall, thin character, um, the length in, of the humerus and the radius and ulna should still be in proportion to the torso. So if you're standing your arms go just below your hips. And so, and the, the humerus up here should be just a little bit longer, uh, but they can be about the same size, but it should be a little bit longer than the radius of the ulna. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little rounded like so, and I'm just gonna duplicate it. And what I wanna show you too is, is you're going to wanna create an overlap, or at least be thinking about an overlap with joints. And so for instance, right here, I go to the rotate tool and I put it right about there. This is essentially how we're gonna move that arm on that little radius of the elbow joint there. And so just something to keep in mind there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lasso select those. And, and I hit the Alt key to duplicate. Notice the Alt key changes your, you can drag, first first drag with the Alt and then the Shift will lock it. Like that and then 
And those same proportions hold true. I mean, so these, these legs are a little longer. Again, so legs should be longer than arms, and the femur should be lower, longer than the tibia and fibula. And for his feet, or for your character's feet, it, you don't have to, but um, they are segmented as, as well, so it's good to give them a foot and some toes as well. You don't have to, but I, it makes things work a little bit better. And I'll go ahead and even just round out those toes a little bit, like that. It's kind of got a weird foot. Again, you can make these shapes any way you want. Um, you just have to have these. In the way that I'm going to rig this character, the way I'm going to show you, it's important to have all these different components. But they can look and be you know any way that you you like. And in fact, I'm going to have a. I'm, we're going to be doing a walking cycle, so I'm even going to make this like just a little bit shorter, like that. I'm going to kind of widen out. I lasso selected these two anchor points, and I'm just going to have my, oak, my arrow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm just going to do the same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now that way um, my arms can sort of connect up there and dangle down. One of the things, though, you can do um, to make sure that you have a little perspective here is um, you can darken the limbs that are in the background. It's going to darken that limb up a little bit and that leg and limb there a little bit. And you can kind of see that this one's in the foreground and those are in the, in the background. Okay, let's give Norm some hands. And I'm just going to make a really simple hand here. Maybe a thumb and a mitten. We'll rotate the thumb out a little bit. A little mitten. I'll round that out just a little. And I'm going to go ahead and pathfinder these. So I'm lasso selecting the two objects. And over here in your properties panel, I'm just going to choose Unite. And then it's just a one mitten. Uh, make it the same color. All right, now Norm's looking a little bit more anatomically correct. He's not that appealing, but at least, you know, he, we're not going to feel uncomfortable because his proportions, his portion, you know, are way off. And so I think that's a pretty good basic character um, to talk about how to make characters. So now the important thing is he's not ready to go into After Effects. And this is why. So we're going to go into our Layers panel here. And whenever I create a new layer, everything is automatically all in one layer. So if I brought them into After Effects, this is, we couldn't manipulate these separate parts. What I'm going to do here is I'll start with the hands, and I'm going to click on Path, and I'm going to go to this drop-down menu, and I can just say Collect a New Layer. And so now that hand is Layer 2, I'm going to drag that above Layer 1. So now that it's its own layer, the hand will come in as a separate object in After Effects. But the really important thing here is I have to tell it, uh, I have to label it, give it a good label. Okay, so here is my hand, and then if you think about standing the same way your character is, that's actually the right hand. Actually, I'm gonna say hand R. Okay, and then this one, the same thing. I'm gonna drop down, collect to new layer, move it up, I can double click, and I'm gonna say hand L. All right, I'm just gonna kinda of keep on doing this. I'm going to go down and just reconvert all of these. So, um, all right, so here's the toes. I'm going to go ahead here and say collect to layer and move that up. And those are the right toes. And here is, I think, the right foot. Foot R. Left toes. Okay, that was a lot of work, uh, but we do need to properly label things, and they all have to be on their own layer. Right, so now, why is this? Because we want to be able to have uh, a lot of complicated things on the other layer. So, for instance, if I want to give Norb um, some shorts, I mean, I just want the shorts to interact with the hip, and then I'm just going to go ahead and draw out some shorts here, and it's going to look like this. No, he wants to be, he's really sporty. We're going to give him red shorts. Okay, so red gym shorts, okay. Now, if we go to our layers palette, the shorts are on the hip layer. And so we are going to attach the rigging to the hip layer 
but what's going to move over all as part of one layer is is these hips here is everything's in there so for instance all right so let's say you want to put a watch on this hand this arm here you would go ahead and make sure you opened up that layer and then just go ahead and draw a box over there like so and um, give it a different color okay and so if we go to the layers palette the forearm so the handle have to be below this layer though but you can see that part of the forearm here is all with the watch it's all going to be together it's not going to be a separate element that we want to control it's just going to be part of his arm that moves and the watch will move with his arm so but what i am going to do though is i'm going to move the um the left hand down below the forearm uh, but i don't want to be below the shorts so. there we go okay so just want to make that clear that each layer uh, whatever the objects are they're going to come over and be just together in one layer because they're under a layer every object that we want to be able to manipulate is going to be together so now one of the things i probably want to manipulate is these eyes i'll want them to blink and i want the pupils to move so that's why I've given each of these their own layer and not together. Okay, and that's essentially how we're going to create a character in Illustrator so that we can then bring it over into After Effects. And After Effects will interpret it, all of this as a composition and each of these layers. So you design your character, um, again, however you, know, you want. But as you just keep in mind, uh, it, you need to have three parts to the upper body. So upper and lower and then a pelvis. Um, upper and lower legs, feet and toes, uh, upper and lower arm with a hand, head and neck. Now there are different ways that you can do this without this, but again, this is the way I'm going to show you and it's going to work better if you have all those elements there. And again, just in summary, how do you create an appealing character? Part of appeal is going to be animation, so how much life we bring into the animation. But the other thing to consider too with appeal is is just the overall design of it. Make sure you try to keep things in proportion. If it's a small, stout person, remember the lengths of their upper and lower arms are going to fit with that new body type, and, and so on and so forth. So you don't want to have, for instance, lower arms that are only half the length of the upper arm. That's going to make people feel squeamish. So these are all things that you want to consider when you're designing your character. And good luck with the design of your characters.